Hi everyone, welcome to Vlogmas. Now you heard me right, Vlogmas number 19, which is a really, really special day for me. Um, December 19th is Rick's birthday. I always celebrate his birthday by putting up the inspiration tree that I'll get into a little bit more later and I'll watch three of his favorite movies. So I've already watched Jaws. I'm getting ready to go watch Wild Hogs, thus my motorcycle gear. And then after that, I'll watch Storm of the Century. So just going to be coming and going a few times during the day. But I am going to, I'm taking a break and having a snack. So I wanted to show you my snack, which is some pretzels. No, some, the company that I got the pretzels from, I got some of the Belgian waffles. So anyway, I hope you stay tuned. And like I said, it's going to be a couple of parts. So I'll see you in a few minutes. everyone welcome back to my channel i'm so excited to have you guys stop in and visit on this happy day of vlogmas number 19 and i know sometimes um remembering people and when it hits their birthday is it's a sad day for me i needed to get past that so i started my own tradition on rick's birthday and setting up his inspiration tree which um we started to do for him or I started to do for him when um, he lost his first leg and um, every amputation after that so um, you know he was just where am I going to be able to walk again am I going to be able to ride again and I don't think he cared too much about walking but riding is what really mattered so every amputation every hospital visit after that where he just wondered I would even take the this into his hospital room and I would set it up in his hospital room so um, that inspired him to even double amputations all the way up to the hip on both legs he was still able to ride and I put a lot of hope in that inspiration tree so hoping maybe I can find some inspiration this year from it and uh, yeah so in between watching some movies and commenting on um, YouTube so I've been trying to catch up a little here and there I already watched Jaws. Jaws was the first movie that we went out to see when we started dating back in 1975. And um, it just, yeah, so, and then even after that, I mean, we watched it all the time. Um, anytime we were homesick, once we moved out to Minnesota from uh, Massachusetts and Rhode Island, when we were homesick in the summer, we would watch Jaws. When we were homesick in the winter, we watched Storm of the Century by Stephen King. I know that's Maine, but you get the idea how just hearing the accents and stuff like that just made us feel like we were home. And of course, Wild Hogs was because, you know, that was, you know, I rode in the sidecar for a while and it was just kind of really, really fun. So Wild Hogs, less the motorcycle gear. But just wanted to start to get into this little break thing. <coughs> and then I'll come back later for the Advent part of it. So anyway, the coffee that I pulled yesterday and I knew I could not put it in that container and wait was the cinnamon sugar cookie by Green Mountain. I got this right here in front of me. So anyway, cheers everyone. It smells really good. It smells like cinnamon cookies just came out of the oven. Snickerdoodles. Mm, this is good. Really, really good. Mm, really good. So I bought those pretzels a couple of weeks ago from the Eastern Standard Provisions, and um, they had Belgian waffles. And I was like, ah, do I want them? Do I not want them? Well, they were still like having, it wasn't the 40%. It wasn't the buy one, get one. Then they went to 40%. So they went to 30%. And I thought, well, you know, before they don't have a sale anymore, I'll buy one. So... <coughs> Sorry about that. Needed a little break. So anyway, I will show you this. So it came in that same type of box, a little bit smaller. And it comes with a card with a code. Um, so it's got a promo code for 
25% off and July 25. So I got this in case the sales are gone. My invoice. I didn't show you this the last time, but it has directions on cooking from thawed or frozen. Um, it says do it in the oven. I just use my air fryer and just do it like half the time. It's got like the nutritional information on the back. And again, this one is the Belgian waffle one. Like that. I'm going to try to hold it up. Ah, there we go. So it came with eight of these Belgian waffles. And then it looked nice and thick. I got some toppings, strawberries and cream. So it's like a sugary mix. It came with the French toast sugar mix. And it came with chocolate fudge sauce. And peanut butter caramel sauce. So does that sound good? So anyway, I did one and got that ready. I cut it into fours to put the, so I could check them out with you. And of course I've got it on Holly Davidson plates that I took from the camper. Alrighty, so I think this one was the French toast. So I'm going to try this. Mm. It's sugary, it's light, it's creamy, really nice texture. I'm going to have a sip of coffee. This one is the fudge, and you can just kind of That would be good to dip the regular pretzels in too. This one is the one I'm kind of scared of. It's the peanut butter caramel. I love caramel. Not sure how I feel about peanut butter in my caramel. So anyway, let's check this out. Mm. Surprisingly, it's good. So, so good. And of course, you could use regular syrup as well or whatever you want. Uh, fresh fruits or berries. And this one must be the strawberry topping. Mmm. It is really flavorful. So, again, not something I probably want to do every day, but maybe on a weekend. They're in the freezer. Just They're individually wrapped. Just pop it out. Either put it right into the air fryer or let it thaw for a little bit. And cut my coffee. I'll be back later with some more of my birthday traditions for Rick. Hi everyone. So anyway, watch Wild Hogs. Just a really, really fun movie. And I still remember the, you know, the first time that we, we watched it. And yeah, it was, it was just a lot of fun. But anyway, here for the Advent part of my vlogmas so I have already got my coffee picked from my Kerrig 24 day advent calendar so the one that I'm going to add to my pot because I'll probably still have tea tomorrow it's just Krispy Kreme it's just their classic coffee which is really good as well I took out my chocolate from my Ferrero collection this one I think is just the uh, the regular one with the uh, hazelnuts and the chopped nuts, but it does have like a kind of wafer in between. That's good. The wine that we picked from the advent calendar is a red wine blend. And I have been liking some of these red wine blends that I've been having. So excited to give that a try, but we are not going to do that today because it's Rick's birthday. And uh, yeah, the only wine that he really liked was... Um, from Wine Haven, this honey wine. So I always have a glass to toast on his birthday. Um, I've been going to the naughtiest cupcake place every year to get some cupcakes to celebrate his birthday, but it's just too peoply. I mean, this time of year, the line's outside the door and yeah, I just, I can't be around that many people right now. So we're gonna have some honey wine. First thing, I'm not gonna show you the, uh, this jacket. I 
haven't worn this since probably I was maybe 50 pounds heavier. So it is a little big, but it's okay. It's my Harley. I'm going to take it off because it is really, really warm. Just all the sparkles on it. So, yeah, love my jacket. And of course, I got this Harley shirt on that's got some sparkles as well. And this is that um, one that I got from Swarovski Crystal. So it's like black crystals on one side and that sides are the clear ones. Alrighty, so ready for my Wine Haven Honey Wine. And this is one all kinds of awards. And I've got my Robin with a Y wine glass to put it in. Hmm. Alrighty. Cap gave me a little bit of trouble. So she's got her black gown on, some Swarovski crystal, she's got her glass of wine, and a cowgirl hat. I don't have a cowgirl hat on. But anyway, I do love the honey wine. It is nice and sweet. It's made with honey from the honeybees that they have there. It's really, really nice. Oh, yeah, it's like heaven in a bottle. So cheers, everyone. Happy Vlogmas 19. Happy birthday, Rick. Cheers. Oh, it is. It is good. Honey wine. Whenever the girls come, we always make a trip to Wine Haven and get some honey wine. So, so good. Alrighty, and my chocolate. I should probably drink, eat it over the glass because sometimes it has crumbs. All the time, it has crumbs. Alrighty. Mmm. And that hazelnut in the center. I'm going to have to clean my keyboard and get that chocolate off before it melts. But anyway. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for joining me and celebrating Rick's birthday with me. And we will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas number 20. Love you guys. Bye-bye.